Oh, AML is now an M. Um, so, yeah, we are going to move on to the November 27th Tag League Show. This show is all about the Tag League, ladies and gentlemen. It, I absolutely thought it was phenomenal. Um, the first match of the evening is the Blue Goddesses. It's O2 in the Blue Goddesses division. It's O2 lines. Azumi and Miyu Amasaki from Queen's Quest taking on the New Eras, Amy Saray and Mirai from God's Eye. Um, I again, wonderful opener. Um, I gotta pull my notes up because I just gotta double check one thing. Do, 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 do. Yeah, neither of those ones. Yeah, and I got again, great wrestling start. A- A- Azumi and Amy Saray had a great quick start together. Um, absolutely phenomenal. Um, Big chops from uh, Mirai to Mew, just laying in, just just beating on the girl, man. Like, dang, like I, I, I felt bad for the girl, man. It was just like, whew. um, but yeah, just great, great. The speed in this match was absolutely phenomenal. Like everybody moving. That's that that pendulum DDT for Mew. I will bring it up every dang time that right, we talk about an O2 line match. I, I love it. I love the way she gets up and then she's like a hang time in the air for a second and then the swing back at like and she like literally when she's up in the air she gets herself like perfectly like line because like it's that's that's core strength that's leg strength that's everything. I'm like I am impressed every time she does because she comes up so perfectly and then comes back with that shit. It's really good. Um, like Mio goes went for that pedigree, but ends up getting backdropped, and then an insight and hits with an inside cradle for two. But like followed up with a tornado DT, absolutely phenomenal. Um, Mirai and Amy hit like a double spear to Azumi towards the end there, like oof. And then Mirai hit that half Nelson wheel that wheelbarrow half where she's like wheelbarrows her up, grabs her, and then just turns her into like half Nelson slam onto Mew. Like ooh, that looked good. But in the end, Mariah got the airplane spin into the cradle shock on Miu and got the win. Any, any, you got anything on this one, Mel? So the only thing that I would add to your chops comment, um, the machine gun chops from Ami, very reminiscent to me of Kenta Kobashi, um, who just landed those chops every single time. It was like he was doing CPR. Every mm-hmm. say, I loved it. Um, yeah, that's the only thing I have to add to this one. Yeah, again, I, I really thought of Saida when I when I, when I thought about that. Yeah. Is they both do that speed chop in the corner, and I really like it. I really, really do. Every single time. Yeah, insanely loud. <laughs> so we're gonna move on to the next match of the evening, and it is from the and all the rest of the matches are in the Red Goddess Division. You have the team of my fair lady, Lady C, and my Sakurai taking on the Goddess of Stardom Tag Team Champions, uh, Meltier, Natsupoi, and Tam Nakano. Again, as always, another awesome entrance from Meltair. I just it, 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 that choreograph the, the the way they do it all. Absolutely love it. Uh, but during the intro, um, they got attacked. <laughs> My fair lady attacked during the intro, which made me go, "Oh, like like because like yeah, that well, it was during like the ring announcer introductions that they did it." But I was still like. Aw, because like Nat and Tam tend to do very theatrical even during their name introductions. Yeah. So it's just like watch but yeah. the intros a lot. So it's like when you finally watch one, you're just like eh, uh. I try to watch Mount Mal- Tears every time because I like the scene because I they yeah. they do an extravagant yeah. entrance. So I try to watch it every mm-hmm. time. Um but again, uh, great match overall. In the end, Tam not going to hit the bridging tiger suplex onto my Sakurai mm-hmm. for the win. Again, I, I say it every time we talk about military match. The the just the stuff that Tam and, and Nat to point pull out are absolutely phenomenal. I haven't seen Nat do her kneeling spin kick in a while, and I'm missing it. I love that kick. I love it when she does a kneeling spin kick. I want to see it. Bring it back, please, Nat. Bring it back. But yeah, I I, absolutely, I love it. Yeah, this was a, a fun little match. I also was disappointed about the jump start. Um, but I, I feel that it's getting to the point where my fair lady is really starting to, I don't want to say get desperate, but that I think they're starting to show those signs of desperation. Because I believe they're still mm-hmm. sitting at nothing right now. And they're the only team um, in this tournament right now still sitting mm-hmm. at, at nothing, um, which is disappointing because both of these women have some, come such a long way um, in their careers, um, particularly this year. Um, 
my Sakurai leaving Cosmic Angels and, and joining Donna Del Mondo, uh, Lady C joining Queen's Quest, she was always, uh, Lady C was always a, a pretty decent talent um, when my Sakurai was kind of like what I would consider a little bit not, not on that same experience level. Both of them now are functioning at such a high level of performance that I, I feel that it's just wrong that they, they don't have um, any points on the board right now. I do really hope that they, they do get some. Um, but yeah, they, I agree. This was a fun match. I was disappointed with the jump start, but I did feel that, that it was a really, really great match to, uh, to kind of get things going. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, I actually, yeah, like I said, wonderful match. So we move on to the mm -hmm. third of four matches of the evening. At least in the goddess division, we are not covering the first two, like, undercard tags. Um, and it is from, again, from the red goddess division, the team of Aphrodite's Utami Haijishida and Sayaka Matani from Queen's Quest taking on Karate Brave, the World of Serving Champion, Suri, and Tomoako Inaba from God's Eye. This is Mel's pick. So, Mel, I'm going to let you uh, break it all down. This was so much fun. Um, I love Aphrodite. They're, they're really my favorite faction. They're my favorite team. Utami Hayashi Shida is currently my, my favorite um, active female wrestler um, in the world. Um, Saya Kamitani, the, um, I always get it wrong, Wonder, Wonder of Woman, Wonder, Wonder of Stardom Champion. <laughs> She's been holding that belt for a hot minute, doing very, very well defending it. What an incredible team! Well, she won. Um, she won it on the same day as when Suri won the won the world belt. Correct. At correct. the December 29th show last year. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, phenomenal chain wrestling um, to open up this this match between um, Suri and Utami Hayashishida. Um, these two know each other so well. Um, they know what to expect. I feel that's why we see this incredible chain wrestling from them. They're just so in the know of each other that they know what then they're they're thinking of next yeah um, and i feel like they fought each other enough that maybe it's time that one of or both of them kind of throw something in there to throw the other off uh would be interesting to see how how those <laughs> matches go um, it would be then switching up the pace i, I love how these teams do this Suri and, and utami keeping it very very you know ground based very slow bringing us into that nice roller coaster climb until Inaba and Kamitani get into the ring and boom, pace changes. Boom! Um, I, was, <laughs> it's, it's, I feel like it's almost like Kamitani. It is a Kamitani bomb. She gets in there and she immediately takes the pace from zero to 100. Um, her in-ring is just so great. Um, her with Inaba was actually really, really great. I, I really like Inaba, but I felt that Kamitani kind of brought out a little bit more in her for this match, which I really appreciate. Um, I say yeah. this every single time. This is always a note, but like Utami is a tank. She's an absolute beast of a woman. And she is in this match, I think, even above a little bit above Suri in, in that um, physical ability of hers. Um, the uh, Suri Utami strike for strike off was absolutely insane. The, mm -hmm. They were not pulling anything on this they were laying into it and this is why yeah I love you have to well, start up. well you gotta and also understand the you i know you understand it but to, mm -hmm. to the fan they, you understand the familiarity that suri and utami have with each other mm -hmm. they have battled multiple times last year the big title changes into last year they've had multiple battles this year so mm -hmm. there there is a history there that these women know each other, so they know what kind of know what the other one's going to pull out. But when you have the tag team influence in it, it's going to change things up. Mm -hmm. 100%. And for anyone who's actually playing the NJPW Strong Spirits game, currently, right now, Sori is actually an unlockable character. And when you use her, um, one of the things that you get access to when you're playing them is, is little backstage information that they have said about certain things that is in, important to the game. Um, Suri will actually um, have a conversation with you where you'll, you can ask you know, about her family life or who her greatest rival is. And her greatest rival is none other than Utami Hayashishida. So if you're playing that game, pick that choice because that gives you the best skill points. 
little there you go. gaming trick from Melville. <laughs> <laughs> so um, just the last thing I wanted to say was that at the end of the match, um, Suri submitting Kamitani with her move that she calls the Bayako. I don't know if that's how you properly say it, but that's how it ended. Um, Suri and Karate Grave um, Inaba um, picking up two points over Aphrodite. But I don't think this actually has brought them over top of um, Aphrodite. I believe Aphrodite still leads them by one point. Uh, I, I had a great time. I, <laughs> I, I always have a good time with uh, like these matches. Again, I, like I've said in the past, I'm not the hugest fan of Karate Brave. But I think when they do the right things, they're, they're absolutely phenomenal. Um, it just it, it, they've done really good match. And again, I'm a big fan of Af- team, the team of Aphrodite, Tommy Ash students. I come Tommy. I, I don't think they've had a bad, they have not had a bad match. I don't think there's really been a bad match in this entire tournament, in my opinion. But I, I've had a great time watching all, all, all these women wa- wrestle. So it's just, yeah. A great match overall, and then the ending. What was the what was the series move called? Uh, Bayaka, B A B A Y A K O Bayako. I just have it written down as a stretch muffler because essentially it was a stretch muffler. Over, like, yeah, it was a variation of it. Yeah. But then she actually was like on sitting on the back on the side, of Saya. Yeah. That's what really got me. Is you're sitting on the back of her, mm-hmm. and she's so flexible. She was dang near touching the back of her head with her own foot. <laughs> yeah. yeah so i i really i really quite like that finish yeah great but mm-hmm. yeah great match overall yeah 100%. so oh sorry and my other thing went down i need to bring that back in <laughs> right there 